Hello, welcome. My name is Abigail and I am your host for today's Roundtable Discussion. Over here we have a lovely panel. <laughs> she just touched my So if someone could take a question for us. Does the church support mental health? Oh, okay. Oh. I like that one. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So, with mental health, we're talking about things like um, depression, anxiety, name some... Suicide. S suicide. <laughs> I do think it's not something that is actually discussed in the church, church but mm -hmm. as far as when it goes to support, I do think that the church does support it, but they don't make it known. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's uh, directly the duty of a church to do that and i want you to allow me to elaborate before yes please do. because um the church is not a clinic and so mm -hmm. as such from time to time we can just like we do marriage seminars and other seminars we can do seminars for that health wise uh, like mental health in, in that regard but when a pastor or a church addresses that situation from the spiritual point of view. You get it? Mm -hmm. Because some people are under, uh, get under depression or these anxiety problems because of how the devil has attacked in a way. So a pastor looking, seeing the world in two different dimensions as we being the physical and the spiritual will try to see if that particular situation that a member is having doesn't have a spiritual connotation to it. But then, if there is a spiritual connotation to what is happening, that is what the church seeks to address. We can advise our members to seek professional help when they need to. Yeah, and pray for them when we have to. So where the prayer needs to be put in, you put that prayer in. Where you are need to allow the professionals who have gone to school to study and know how to handle it in the physical sense, you allow them to address it that way as well. So why do you, because I feel like it's, would you agree that it's not something that is discussed in church? In church? Well, I think people don't make their issues known. Mm -hmm. Because if you are going through a depression and you don't tell, let's say, a pastor, how would you let the pastor know? Um, it's not God to, to know all things. So I think if you let your issues known, not everyone, but at least to the pastor, or to the head of the church, I think that is the only way out, rather than keeping it to yourself, because you can't say the church is not supporting that. If you haven't let me know what is wrong with you, mm. you get it. Yeah, but then I feel like, I don't know, the church is not, no, I'm not talking about our church particularly, yeah. but like church as in the body of Christ. So we're not like opening up to like allow them to come in and be comfortable to say you know what i'm doing all of this in church but i'm suffering from depression like the african community we are not known for not opening up some yeah years. so it's, i wouldn't say the church as a whole Mm. don't talk about mental health or there's members as a whole that wouldn't talk about mental health they will but i think the african community find it very difficult to just open up and say what they are going through so obviously it will make it hard for the pastor of the church to also talk to you about it because you're not like you said you're not opening up about what you're going through but in some situations we don't get that opportunity yeah. people don't get to see so as a person when you have a problem it is better that you yourself identify what, that, what the problem is. Yeah, and find solutions to it. Look for help. Ask for help because for a long time you've been going through this feeling and you, it seems like it's overwhelming mm -hmm. you. You can't over, do anything about it. Find help. Let somebody help you. Speak to somebody. Be open about it because then if you keep to yourself, nobody will come to your aid because we don't know. Mm -hmm. But then and what if they themselves don't know? Because some people, they go through things and they think, oh, she's life, I need to deal with it. 
and they and some people they don't even realize that they're going through something or that they are depressed and, or maybe someone is gets easily anxious or gets easily scared or frightened by a situation that comes at them but they think oh that's just how I'm like so that's why they don't open up about it I, I what don't. about people that don't realize because I'm sure we, we we might have that one friend that is going through things but they think it's normal but then you look at it and it's like no, maybe you need some support or you need some help. Yes. Personally, I've worked in a mental health clinic. Yeah. And there are people that are um, detained against their will. So it's like they are there, not that they think they have an issue, but because society thinks that they are an issue, yeah. because they are, uh, they are a problem to the society. That's mm. why they have been detained. So then when I'm asking that question, I'm asking from their point of view that they think they are completely fine. But the world looking at them, they've noticed that they're going through something and they're lashing out. They're not... Co they're not they won't be able to be controlled in society and because of that they are a menace to society so the best place to lock them up yeah. so then from their point of view they think they are completely fine so they don't know that they have something wrong so for them how can we actually approach them and yeah. then help them sometimes you have to take the responsibility on your own shoulder and just say what's going on are you okay is everything fine with you because then through that the person will slowly start to open up their shell and mm. let you come in for them to now express what they're actually going through or or even if they don't tell you what it is you will now understand why they're behaving like that and then you can now bring the solution to their problem it's like when they do auto course yes they don't they they run to it like they're going through depression they won't open up to the pastor past i'm going through something but then maybe the pastor say if anyone's going through something here come to the front they will all run but where's the solution we've prayed so mm. now obviously now that that what they have to do now is i've come to the front i've received the prayers now let me make the bold step in in doing something to change the situation i have run to the front for but when a pastor or a church they do an altar call you you feel like okay let me go because you do want to change so you you make that step and pass the praise but i feel like sometimes there is no follow-up mm -hmm. do you know what i mean mm -hmm. like and that's why people say oh depression just pray because you, you've taken that step, that, and that step was a bold step for you to come forward. You come forward now, pass the praise, everyone back to their seats. Mm -hmm. And with the doctors or the hospitals, for example, they will say, in two weeks' time, come back in, we'll have a look at you, see how you are. Yeah. We'll give you but two I feel, weeks' order, mate. Yeah. yeah. But there's no follow-up here, yeah. you know. No one is even going to find out, okay, you came to the front, what's your what's issue? Yours? And, you know, how churches you have counsellors and stuff like that. But they don't actually come and say, you know, what's going on? How can we assist? Yeah. Because we could, we may not be able to deal with that situation, but we can point them into the right direction yeah. and help them get yeah. out of it. I also think that it has to do with people in church as well. I'm not saying, but there are people who cannot even come out to say something. To exactly. So that's of even the trust. Like, yeah. Is it good? Is that person going to tell others something like that? All right. So they're afraid of. So like, mm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they're they're not that, they are not that comfortable with their GP or whatever mm. to mm. tell them because they know mm. for them. You know, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. But then yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Mm. I don't know if this is too shallow to but say, but if if you don't trust the church you're in, then I think you're in the wrong church. If you can the pastor of the house at least if yes. you feel like you can't go mm -hmm. to him then i do feel like you're in the wrong church yeah 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 no the yeah. members I mean, themselves the right yeah. person should be the pastor yeah, yeah. because uh, and even the counselors like because yeah. if if no one can relate to that counselor or if you feel like oh i i yeah i can't relate to that person that person will go and talk to my business or they are too close to you know one of my aunties and i feel yeah. like they're going to tell my auntie uh -huh. then I wouldn't want to. Yeah. But I would like you should be able to tell your yeah. pastor. Yeah. 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 But I think so, when, when you're in that state, though, because we're talking about mental health, mm -hmm. like you yeah. think differently. differently. Mm -hmm. And so about you're just thinking, no, nah, I can't tell this person. Yeah. No, nah, I can't yeah. tell this person. And it makes you isolated. Mm -hmm. We, I don't think anyone here has been through that. The only person who can give an answer of, of how the solution is or what they've done is somebody who's actually experienced it. So I don't think anyone's answer is going all right. But, but we can't, you never know. Oh, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Maybe, maybe no one here said it's about I, in the No one here said yeah. I went through depression. Okay. I, yes, that's what I'm just saying. I, I, I have been depressed oh, before. Yeah, so. I, I think I've been yeah. yeah. But then I didn't, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get to the point where I, I was taking to yeah. the hospital. Yeah, oh my yeah. God. It, it, like, I, I was able to get help or uh, able to deal with it at a certain point and mm -hmm. overcome it. So mm -hmm. that, yeah, did you come but, to church though? Like, was it church yeah, I, that? Yeah, uh, I was. I, I struggled a lot, but mm -hmm. I spoke to somebody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at a point I needed to speak to somebody. 
and I, I realized that I needed that help and took that step to speak to the person. This is what I'm feeling. This is what I'm going through. Looking at my life, I think that, and sometimes I feel like I should just give up. Mm. Yeah. And, and, and it took the person's uh, advice and the person's counseling and help for me to go overcome it. In, in essence, I think the church, um, obviously I can't talk for every church because everyone has their own doctrine and stuff like that. But I mean, like, there's nothing wrong with holding programs, getting the yeah. specialist yeah. to come yeah. to the church yeah. and just sitting them down and saying, well, that, if you're going through this, good. this is the person yeah. you can talk to, this is how you can overcome it. And obviously incorporate the, yeah. the Christian well, values yeah. in that as well, you know? Programs. That, yeah, I do think as, as a solution, or not even a solution, but as to help our to community, because yeah. I feel like a church is supposed to serve the community. That's what we're mm. here for. So one of the things is to raise an awareness. Because I do think that people shy away from it. Like yeah. It's like a closed topic. Mm. Depression, what's that? We don't speak of it. <laughs> do you know what I mean? And so it doesn't make yeah. the, you know, but like if church is saying, you know, we don't condone it, but we're here yeah. to help you. you know? If uh, we put events in place, it's not going to be every day. And that means, major what about the majority of the days or the months in the year that nothing is being done on these topics? No, that means the majority of the work, the majority of the work depends on us as people as to identify mm -hmm. when we have problems and to seek for help. Like for help. Yeah. Uh, and the majority of it is also dependent on we, the members of the church, to also look out for our brothers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because if mm -hmm. uh, something is happening, mm -hmm. I might see it before the pastor sees mm -hmm. it because I'm closer to the person than the pastor. And so it is my duty as a member to also prompt the head that this person needs help or is going through this situation and therefore that something needs to be done. Yeah. And so that's why I'm saying the church as a <clears throat> church institution can do something, but it's not going to be enough. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, so this was brought to you by ICC Connect, um, where we briefly discussed mental health. Obviously, we can't go through everything, and we kind of do have to speak generically because we can't speak for every single circumstance. Um, but we did mention that as a church, as a body of Christ, we are, you know, our brothers and our sisters keepers. So if you do notice something um, about your brother or your sister, you are the closest and the pastor, then it is, you know, we would encourage you to check up on that person. We would also encourage every church um, to also raise awareness and hold events. Um, and if you have counsellors in your church, to make people know that they are free and welcome to speak to anyone um, about their situation, um, to get help and to get guidance. Um, and just seek professional help if you really have to. But don't stay in silence. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much for watching and stay connected.